Holidays is one of those horror anthology movies where they get a bunch of different directors to come together and create a short film, all focusing on some kind of theme. Similar to the VHS movies, and while I wouldn't consider this as good as the first two VHS movies, it does still have some worthwhile segments. And while not all of them are great, I think the movie works overall as a solid little horror film. Each segment is based on a respective holiday, and they go in order from Valentine's Day to New Year's Eve. Honestly, most of them don't have much to do with the holiday other than just being set on them, but I'll give my quick thoughts on each one before we get to the one Smith directed. First up is Valentine's Day. This one was pretty good. It's paced well, got a creepy atmosphere, and some of the most hateable bullies I've ever seen. The ending is deliciously gruesome. St. Patrick's Day was kind of forgettable. It starts out feeling it's just a repeat of the Valentine's Day one and then just gets weird, but the boring kind of weird. Easter was really good and probably has the most to do with the actual holiday. I'll just say, it has the most fucked up Easter bunny you will ever see. Mother's Day felt kind of pretentious and was my least favorite of all the segments. Yes, I know it's probably sexist of me to have the only one directed by a woman as my least favorite, but I really didn't care for this one. Father's Day is better. It's kind of a mystery with a cruel twist type deal. Not great, but I was interested in seeing where it was going. Christmas is pretty cool. It has some good twists. Seth Green is in it. And it managed to create a toy that I actually wanted. Like in real life, I want those virtual reality glasses. Congratulations, Captain. You're the first person to walk on Mars. You gotta try it, Dad. My only problem is that it feels kind of aimless. The thing that jumpstarts the conflict ultimately is pointless. And finally, New Year's Eve was alright. It had some good blood, but just kind of felt a little thin. They all do have a different feel to them, so you're likely to at least like one of them. Probably more. The one Kevin Smith directed was called Halloween. A Halloween segment in a horror anthology film, and the fact that it's set on Halloween is probably the most pointless of all the other segments in the movie. Only Valentine's Day, Easter, and Christmas having their segments set on those holidays really impacted the plot. But at least the others kind of had some connection. Mother's Day was about motherhood. Father's Day was about her finding her lost father. This one? The only mention of it being Halloween are that the main guy says trick or treat and the three girls are dressed up. This could have taken place at any other time of the year. The plot is that a guy named Ian, played by Harley Morenstein, runs an internet sex service and is verbally abusive to his three female employees. And so they decide to take their revenge on him. This segment was all right, it wasn't the best, but it did succeed in what it was trying to do. Make me uncomfortable. Ian is just a fucking asshole, and you think there is nothing that is too bad for him. But what these three have planned for him is pretty fucking harsh. Like, I spent the whole last half of this actually cringing a little bit. I don't want to spoil what they do, but I'm sure a lot of you out there will feel the same way. So yeah, this movie overall was... Good. It had some really strong segments, but others just felt boring. Smith's was in the middle. I do wish they had actually incorporated the holidays in the stories more, but for what we got, I thought it was good. I'll give the movie as a whole a 7 out of 10, but Smith's part I only give a 6 out of 10. Well, tomorrow we finish off this Kevin Smith retrospective with the movie he made for his daughter. See you then. Incredible.